So I was just looking back at my old videos the other day and I realized it's been two years since I did an office tour and a lot has changed since then. The last video that I did, I had just closed down my small business. So the entire layout of the office was completely different. I had a wall of shelves, there was loads of baskets everywhere. And at the start of this year, I actually decided to switch things up and hopefully put things in more of a permanent position. For the future so now it's less stock room more creative hub and actually i've now managed to repurpose the drop down desk which i'm very happy about so let's just get straight into it let me show you my office so this is what you see when you walk in i've got two giant prints on the wall behind me if you look closely they're not proper prints yet they are loads of a4 sheets of paper there's a vlog way back when i printed these out and i said i'll get them printed professionally, I've yet to do that. But I'm also unsure as to whether I like this design. If you've got any ideas of what I could put in these, let me know. That's kind of the first thing that you see. And then obviously my desk, I have tried my best to keep this desk neat at the back. I did debate getting like a screen fastened to the back of it, but I feel like that could block off the office and make me feel a little bit claustrophobic. claustrophobic. <laughs> But we've done some cable management, it's all tucked up under there and I feel like that's the neatest I can possibly get it. Then of course I have this chair which I'm obsessed with, it's from made.com and it was pretty spenny. It is slightly too big for this room in this layout but I'm not about to get a new chair just for the sake of it so it's fine, it's comfy, it does the job. Got a little stool from B&M in front of it so when I'm fed up of sitting at my desk I can just stick my feet up and have my laptop on here. On this chair is actually a cushion that I made along with just just like an orange Ikea one, a crocheted blanket, and also a blanket that I purchased for definitely way too much money. And then on the wall next to the chair is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. This is in the same position as it was previously. It's like bolted onto the wall because I am very precious about this and I'm scared of it falling off. And then behind the chair is my vision board. I do this yearly, really enjoy this process. And on there, I'll put the things that I'm like aspiring to do. So like new car, decorate the hallway, travel more, go camping, all that kind of thing is on the vision board. And I try and make it nice to look at because if it was ugly, I just wouldn't like that in my space. Then of course, I've got these arches and the like circle that I painted. Initially this was behind my desk, like my desk faced this wall, but I since realized I prefer having a free space in front of me because I like my legs out and I like fidget. And then I've put my Be Fearless Neon up above. I'll turn it on quickly, but it does make the camera strobe, which is very annoying. Three, two, one, ta-da! Really cute. I love this office in like winter cozy nights because of all the little neons. Under the chair as well, I actually have my walking pad. Let me know if you've followed me for long enough to remember the challenge I did last July, 10,000 steps a day. I thought that challenge was gonna miraculously make me into a hot girl walks kind of gal. In fact, it just made me realize how much I don't like walking. I just find it really boring. Part of that, I got this treadmill and it fits perfectly under that chair. I will say, I will be completely honest it has not been used since July so I've not actually tried it in this setup so I don't know if it fits under the desk as it is but I feel like it will be. Let's talk about the desk itself so this is the same desk I've had for years I got gifted this from Flexi Spot back when I was at my parents house and I'm honestly eternally grateful for this thing. It's a sit stand desk so there's like programmable buttons here and obviously when I was doing the walking pad or if I want to stand program button and it will raise like very bougie. I also have two Alex drawers next to me. This is like the perfect setup for me to be able to reach all my drawers and actually I've got like way too much storage in this office now which is a great problem to have. There's lots of room in here for me to grow or to like repurpose them in the future and I'm at that stage where I'm like when I have kids we could use it for this. So I've kind of done this entire office with that in mind. In front of me, I've also got another set of Alex drawers and that's just like office supplies, wires, tripods, all the boring things that I reach for regularly is in there because I can get to it from like either side of the desk pretty much. On top, I've just got a bunch of crocheted flowers that my best friend bought me and then my notebooks and my disposable camera, little pot of pens and then this gorgeous piece of wood that my dad made for me. So yeah, this is a literally just three pieces of wood. My dad bolted it together. He just asked me how high I needed it to be and it allows my screens to be higher. And then underneath I have this like hub contraption thing. So all of this gets tucked away. I've got my Logitech 
like keyboard and my mouse it all goes sort of underneath so when I want to use this desk for crafting or sewing I can easily do that because everything sort of slots away by the way love this coaster my bestie also got me this <laughs> she knows me very well then I've just got a little trinket dish with my memory cards in my cat sticky note holder which I actually use more than I thought I would and obviously the crazy cat lady me is very happy about that and then at the end is my laptop which obviously is plugged into this whole setup and my iPad and they're just on this little stand that I got from Amazon cute little DIY coaster and a wooden one on top and then here I've actually got a tripod I've not fully utilized this setup but the idea was that I'm facing the light if I look at the window so on here I've just got this bracket thing I'll link everything in the description that I remember but it's got a bracket that allows you to mount a camera and well basically whatever you want on it so you, I'll slot my phone in here there's this little light a microphone and that just lives there permanently and it means if I have a spontaneous desire to film a reel or whatever I have that angle and then behind me are these prints. These frames by the way were from JYSK or Jusk and they were really really affordable especially for how ginormous they are. Chairs from Ikea I definitely need a new one because it's sort of disintegrated and getting a bit grubby but it's served its purpose and on top of the drawers I've just got this subscribe like plastic sign, my neon flamingo that I'm obsessed with, some dried flowers in a cute little vase and then my old mic. I do still use this mic occasionally and obviously it looks nice so we've got that. And of course, another cat themed. Cat themed little ornament because the cat lady and me has to have multiple cat related things in here. Oh, and like down here next to the tripod is this like box that's got an extension lead in it and it just covers up all the messy wires. And then the wires themselves that go up to the cable management and the desk are all encased in this like plastic sleeve thing. Then we've got this side of the office, which is where basically the shelves ended up from the previous video. I've now got a sewing machine on this desk. So this desk, me and my dad DIY'd. It's basically, I feel like this is called a piano hinge or something. We bought that from being q This wood is literally the same wood as the shelves. He just cut off the bracket things. Bit of chain and hooks. And there we go. I came up with the idea. Dad put it together. We made a great team. And this has ended up being the perfect height for my sewing machine so on here like underneath I've got a big cupboard in here is random things like again I've got too much storage in here which is not a bad issue to have so there's like a box full of boxes for example and then there's a box with my laptop case in my filming lights empty baskets window screens like literally random things in here and as you can see it's not very full but that is what I like to see we had a big clear out to be fair when we did this so that probably also helped underneath the desk as well the space for these gray boxes and they've got sewing supplies in so whilst I'm stood here at the desk which as you can see is the perfect height we've got various boxes one of them's got patterns one of them's got tools and the other one's got fabric no doubt this will expand into the cupboard underneath and then of course the beautiful shelves which I love having on display I don't love clutter but when it's arranged nicely in my opinion I feel like it works I've got this YouTube light that I bought from Etsy. I've got some jelly cats, my Instax, all my creative books. Like it's literally me on a bookshelf. If you want to know my personality, look at this bookshelf and you get a pretty good idea. And then obviously underneath is the machine. At the back of it, I've got my current sewing project, which is a jumpsuit. I'm very excited to get that finished. And then over here, I've got a Groovy Chick storage bag, tins of clips and pins, Buzz Lightyear, and the most adorable sew-in labels. I love lovely girl gifted to me. I will leave her linked in the description if you're a fellow sewing slash creating garment kind of person. <laughs> Then down here next to the sewing desk is a, it is actually a bin just from Ikea and in there is the stuff that I'm currently selling on Vinted. On top is a box of dog harnesses that my friend sent me to take photos of and I've not yet sent them back. And then the sewing book that I am absolutely obsessed with, Great British Sewing Bee. It's just, I love sewing. There's something about it. I'm a crafty person. I've always been that. And this sewing book ignited something in me. So having it to hand like this with the sewing machine and all that set up, so good. Although I will say it is kind of frustrating that this wire is out. That's one thing that is bugging me. If this hobby sticks, 
I'm sure we can adapt this shelf here and like make it more seamless, but for now it works. And then behind the door is quite frankly, a load of rubbish. Um, well, not rubbish, it's just chaotic. I've got an overload of bags, coats, fake oodies, like there's a filming light set up, there's tripods, there's walking shoes for my walking pad that I've not used in over a year, random stuff. So I just kind of don't look in this corner. I feel like it's always going to be like this in some capacity. But though on the back of the door, I have a mini ironing board for my sewing projects. And this thing is so good because it means I don't have to get the full on giant one out. So having, having a baby one is incredible. And then on the other side of the door, we've got these shelves. Now we decided to put this here and originally I was a bit worried it was gonna make the room feel quite small when you walk into it, but I don't think it does. And there is always the option of me painting the sides. I don't really want to get rid of the wood grain, but I am debating like staining it lighter in some way like you can whitewash is that a thing because this wood over the years has gradually got quite dark and I don't like how orange it is so anyway I'm going on a tangent so on here are extra boxes from when I did have my small business some of them have got like old packaging supplies in that I don't really know what to do with and then the top two I think are empty and then just a few more extra knick-knacky we've got a bit of a Disney shrine going on um another jelly cat little avocado all that stuff and then in this cupboard we purpose this door this was originally on like a double door kind of situation over above my printers but my dad handyman repurposed it and we put the magnets on and in here again surplus storage top shelf I put my work bag and then we've just got random things my iron for the sewing laptop stand a candle like mugs <laughs> and then a paper storage tray that didn't really have anywhere else to go. And then of course on the door, I've got my pin collection, which I'm obsessed with. I also forgot to mention, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but on the sides of these cupboards, my dad again repurposed the surplus shelves that we had and then screwed them to the sides because previously they were open and it made it look quite chaotic when you walked in. So literally this is just three pieces of wood screwed into the side just to make it look a lot neater. We didn't do this initially and I'm so glad I decided to do that. I feel like I've done this in a really weird order. I've not gone around the room like in a linear fashion. I've just kind of bitted and bobbed. If you want to know how my brain works, that's how it works. Then we have this big unit. This one obviously sticks out further and I did this initially to fit my big A3 printer on because it was deeper. I don't have that anymore. I sold it. So we moved these doors onto this. So we've made sort of a wardrobe situation. The the top is storage. We've got a shelf of surplus packaging. Again, I don't know what to do with this. Box full of cricket supplies, Angelina Ballerina dolls, as you do. Box full of old packing supplies. And then the top ones are like craft supplies, notebooks, and then the archive of my old shops on fire. And then at the bottom, there is my printer, my smaller one of the two, which I definitely still use. Behind it is my cricket. And then I've got a box of dolls house supplies. We'll make sense in a second. My old label printers and a packet of paper. As you can see, we've got chaos going on, but as long as it's behind the doors, I'm happy. I don't have to look at it all the time. <laughs> and then on the very bottom, another reason we repurposed this shelf the way we did is a doll's house. A bit of a story behind this, I have said since being young that I've always wanted a doll's house and growing up, I never got one. We probably couldn't afford it, didn't have the space for it, etc., etc. But last Christmas, my mum saw this for sale in like a secondhand shop and she bought it as a bit of a joke but it's actually made my life <laughs> because I've always wanted a doll's house. So the long-term goal with this is to like redo it and paint it and renovate it. It's so cute, very random when you open an office door and see a doll's house but I am here for it. And then just next to that kind of ruins the cute vibes is a bit of a charging situation. So there's wires galore. No matter how many times I organize this, it gets chaotic so I didn't even bother for this video. I've got my old MacBook because I'm convinced my new one is going to break at all times so I need a backup plan. Memory cards, batteries, all that kind of thing. I just love the randomness of having a doll's house in an office. One day this is going to be repurposed for my children and I'm thrilled about it, okay? In these drawers, I don't know why I'm sat in front of them, top one is cricket supplies, cutting mat, crafting things, you know, pretty much the same as it was before. We literally just moved it to the other side of the room. Next one down, tech things. So like the bag for my lights, the bag for my microphone, wires, boring 
video related things. And then the bottom one, I'm actually not sure. Oh, tripods, again, wires, microphone things, all the things that you don't want to see all the time. So that's all hidden in there and I'm very happy about it. Oh, and down here, when I first renovated this office, there was a rogue plug socket that's ugly looking and the wire going to it was black. I found this on Amazon. It's literally just like stuck to the wall with sticky pads and it opens up and there's a plug underneath it. And then I just put trunk in along the wall, which again is stuck with sticky pads. And I mean, it's a bit of an eyesore, but it's less of an eyesore than just like a black wire. So little thing, but it made me very happy. <laughs> I guess that's it for the office tour. I am obsessed with how this space feels, even more so on an evening when it's super cozy and all the lights are on. I especially love the sewing desk, which I didn't think I would ever say. I'm basically an 80 year old woman, crochet, sewing, crafting, I'm here for it. And I'm so glad we were able to like repurpose what I already had. Literally the only thing I bought were these photo frames. So good. Let me know what your favorite part of the office is or if you've got any ideas for how I can judge it up or even how on earth I even begin trying to paint these things. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate you so, so much and I'll see you next week for another one. Bye. Thank you.